What is GeoBlaze? GeoBlaze is a raster analysis engine written in pure JavaScript. That means you can run it completely in the browser. With it, you can calculate summary statistics like mean and standard deviation of an area within a GeoTIFF. For example, if you have a GeoTIFF from map spam of rain-fed wheat for the whole globe, we can select the area in Ukraine and calculate the sum of rain-fed wheat produced in that area. We've added a, a few new things. We've added support for cloud-optimized GeoTIFFs. We've added support for analysis in any standard projection. In, in other words, uh, projections that have an EPSG code. We replaced the library uh, specific calculations um, code that we had written just for GeoBlaze with uh, another package that will do the statistical calculations. And that's led to a massive performance and safety boost, a memory safety boost for statistical calculations and uh, added new stati statistics. We also refactored the testing and we split out the underlying intersection algorithm into its own package. Uh, and that's being used right now in another package called GeoMask, and that can uh, mask uh, areas within uh, an image. So here's uh, one example of, of what I mean by you can calculate all the stats in uh, one call. Um, pretty simple. Uh, the, the way that it works is kind of fun, so find me in the, the, the social events and, and ask me about it. Uh, so we also replaced the testing library, and um, the one on the top is what we had before uh, using uh, Mocha and Chai, uh, which is great. It works, um, but it, uh, you just have to add like some more code, like the dot to equal. Uh, felt that was a bit verbose, so replaced it with um, Flug, uh, which is German for flight, and uh, that is a library that has a very uh, quick time for takeoff. So um, we have a short-term roadmap. We don't have a long-term roadmap, uh, because I'm looking at all of you, and I want to know what your long-term roadmap is. Uh, for, for GeoBlaze, um, but our uh, short-term roadmap is adding support for more raster types, uh, ASCII grid, and also geo-referenced images that have like a .prj or an uh, auxiliary XML file um, or world file, uh, adding TypeScript support. Uh, Tim Welch, uh, great guy, makes great PRs. Uh, he, he made one for, for adding TypeScript. Uh, and um, I have to follow up with him on that. Uh, want to improve the developer experience on Windows? Oh, raise your hands. Who develops mostly on Windows? Oh, sorry, what? Oh, no, without, straight Windows. Okay, I want to help you guys. All right. And then um, there's uh, uh, adding percentile calculations. Um, adding support for new raster types uh, that we're all learning about in this conference, like Czar, uh, and then um, looking at the users and seeing what you all want. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daniel. Right on time. <laughs>